Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a little bit, a different video. So I've been talking to my Instagram for a little bit uh, about a pedal board that I am putting together. And uh, today is the day that I'm gonna be revealing my pedal board and showing it off a little bit. So yeah, I, the video was a little bit delayed. I was supposed to do the video like two weeks ago or so, but yeah, the pedals were delayed, some of the stuff were delayed, and I needed to wait because I wanted to do the whole pedal board in the video. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and show the pedal board. Here it is. So yeah, I am just taking it out of this bag, and I don't really use this bag. I use it when I'm gonna put it away around the studio. But I don't, I don't know, I just don't like this bag that much. It only has one pocket for the pedal board. It doesn't have any extra pockets. And I don't know, it just feels uh, kind of low quality. But that's the only bad thing I have to say about this board that I bought. So yeah, here's the board. It's very small, very compact, very portable, and I love it. So yeah, we got here an, a moon board, if you couldn't tell by the bag. Very sturdy. I really like this and guess what it was only 30 something dollars 36 37 so yeah very cheap and uh, very good for the price so yeah I'm gonna be linking to everything here in the description so yeah this is gonna this is what I'm, I use for gigging I've already tried it out uh, on the street and stuff and I gotta say I'm really impressed with this board so yeah, over here for the pedals, we got first starting on the chain, we got the Verringer, uh, what's it, BDI 21. It's a it is a base DI box and preamp. It is really good, and this guy is only thirty five dollars on Sweetwater, and it does an amazing job. And yeah, I prefer to use it with an amplifier, which I'm gonna be showing you my amplifier in a bit. But yeah, this, this guy is cheap, but it does really good, especially if you're connecting it to an amplifier. Over here, we got the X-Tone. This little guy is really good, because this guy, you connect it to your iPad, and th these um, MIDI foot switch, you assign them to your different patches and stuff, and you can change between your patches. Now, I only have room for three patches, but that is completely fine because I am I don't use that many effects playing bass. And the effects that I do use the most, for the most part, they're always turned on. So yeah, uh, here's the volume and stuff. And this right here is a passive volume pedal. This guy was kind of a disappointment because the idea behind this guy was to connect it to a port over here in the X-Tone that allows me to use this as an expression pedal but it didn't work like that so yeah i'm using it as a volume pedal which is completely fine because volume pedal is still very useful but i wanted to do some wah stuff you know but that is completely fine and of course let's of course let's go ahead and do a showcase All right, so right here we got the the pedal board set up and stuff. And yeah, right now it's turned on because uh, it's connected through USB to my iPad here, and it's, uh, which is connected through this dongle. And yeah, I have it charging right now. So yeah, it's always ideal that you have it charging for performance purposes and stuff. And yeah, this is an iPad mini 4. I will eventually upgrade to the new ipad mini because i just love how it looks and the performance of that thing is insane so yeah right here i got three patches so right now we're on the clean patch using a a noise gate compressor and an equalizer pedal so yeah, let me turn my amplifier on so yeah real quick this is a hard key kb15 kickback amplifier this thing is absolutely amazing it is not that expensive an amp of an. It is not that expensive an, of an amplifier, and dude, this thing sounds absolutely killer. Like this is 
out of all my stuff in my home studio, which I will do a home studio rundown at 200 subs. But yeah, out of all the things in my studio, this thing is the best investment I've ever done. It is absolutely insane. So yeah, back to the presets right now. Over here, I click B and it takes us to another preset. And over here we got a drive and a chorus. So yeah, we got the same things we had on the clean, except now we have a drive and a chorus. And drive and chorus, if you're a bass player, you know that shit sounds really good on bass. And now we go to the C and over here, we got a, this here is a synth preset. We got an envelope going into an octaver, going into a compressor, into a drive, into a boost, and then into a uh, chorus. No EQ here, cause I, I didn't really need one. And I feel like if I added the EQ here, it would just kill the sound just a little bit. But yeah, this is what I use for gigging. And yeah, let's hear it. Right, everybody. So right now, I uh... right. So right now, I have right here my Ibanez bass, six string bass. And yeah, um, I made a mistake. I already recorded this part, but then I realized that the preamp was never on. So yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this part, but that's fine. So yeah, let's start it with the clean sounds so right now i have my bass going through an xlr cable because it has a direct out it's going straight into my scarlet into logic pro so yeah you're gonna be hearing what i'm hearing in the room and the sounds coming straight out of the bass it's a bass amplifier so yeah let's start with the clean <laughs> So yeah, now let's go ahead with the drive and chorus. to the synth sounding which over here I got uh, chorus I got envelope filter and what else and octaver so yeah this is this just makes my bass sounds like a synth and I absolutely love this preset this is my probably my favorite preset but unfortunately it's not my most used preset obviously but yeah killer song but yeah anyways that was it for this video thank you so much for watching um all of this stuff all of my rig i am gonna put it down in the description the bass the pedals the pedal board that i bought the amplifier and yeah thank you so much guys for watching i really appreciate it if you could like hit that subscribe button that bell maybe please uh, i would really appreciate that and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video